Okay, just a little bit about macros now. Macros are used all throughout Zabbix and they're quite scary to look at if you've never seen them before, but we've seen them so far. That's the curly braces there, indicates at least it's a macro. We've been using built-in macros and we've seen them in the email problem and recovery templates. Also, you'll see them in the Slack and Telegram alert templates as well. If you look through Zabbix and you go into a host, if we look at triggers, for example, Inside the trigger names, there's a lot of macros. There's the curly braces there for one, another one. And that can look quite scary to look at. But really what's happening is those values will be replaced, for example, that there will be replaced with whatever swap p3 min warn, for example, would equal. So the title of the trigger would be updated. Okay, so here there are two different kinds of macros. In the operational data, it's using the built-in macro item dot last value one and item dot last value two we can see more about those here if we look at the full list of built-in macros and we've seen this page for example item dot value for example trigger based notifications and commands this other symbol here this dollar symbol indicates that it's a user defined macro and when we set up the slack media type down here slack Right at the bottom, we had this Sabix URL dollar. We overwrote the value for that in general macros there. So Sabix URL. Okay, so going back, we can see these other ones. These are built-in macros, event severity. So built-in come in the system by default, whereas the user-generated ones, such as there, sometimes we have to create them ourselves, or sometimes you might find that value set in a template. So for example, configuration hosts. I was looking at the triggers in host A. Let's find that one that I was looking at, there we go, I think it was that one. It's got swap percent free min warn. We're likely to find the definition of that macro either in this host or in any template that the host uses. So let's look at that. So host macros, it's not defined at the host level, but it's defined in one of the templates that it imports. So if I just scroll down a little bit, swap p3 min warn there we go and that comes from the linux by zabbix agent template so when you see that dollar sign you either find a definition of that in either the host configuration macros here in a template or in administration general macros it's not a built-in system-wide macro that you'd get for example there so anyway you'll see more of those things as time goes on another kind of macro that you'll see is one starting with a hash and you'll usually get those in discovery rules for example, in prototypes. Okay, so you've got a hash there, hash device name. We'll look at discovery rules more later and we'll see some examples of that. But that symbol really is there just to help you understand where the origin of the macro might be coming from. But they all work the same way. The data gets replaced with whatever the value equals as it gets used. So anyway, let's just create a trigger just for the practice and use a macro in the name of the trigger. Okay, so hosts, I'm gonna use host A this time, triggers. I'm going to create a new trigger and I want to know when a certain amount of disk space is used on my server. Okay, so disk space used above two gigabytes, for example. That isn't really a major problem, but it's something I may hypothetically want to know. And then I can say the current value, a macro, I'll use one of the built-in macros. So item dot value, for example. Item value means whatever the value of the item is, this trigger will be looking at, and we'll set that in the expression down here. Okay, so when this trigger does get fired, a number will be put into that place. We won't see item value written there in the title. Okay, so I'm going to use a disaster, but a common thing you might do is create this as a warning or an information, doesn't matter, because you could create several triggers. You want to know when the disk space is above two, it's above 10, or it's above 20 gigabytes or something. You may just want that extra visibility. But anyway, I'm going to mark it as a disaster so that I get an alert. And in reality, this isn't really a problem for me. This is just a demonstration. Okay, so expression item is disk related so it'll be a vfs key so i want to use total space or use space there we go vfs fs size used let's just click that the last value there is greater than 2g okay g means gigabytes and that is a unit symbol in the documentation there's more about unit symbols here note that i'm looking at zabbix documentation version 3 because if i looked at 6 the topic doesn't exist yet actually this hasn't actually changed since version 3 but anyway you can find g down here for gigabyte so memory size you'll see other examples of these used throughout especially s for seconds m for minutes hours etc you've got a few there as well 
And there's some examples. Okay, so you can either define a second, for example, or you can use the unit symbol, two minutes. That is one day worth of seconds. And that's another way of writing, one day. So anyway, so I've written greater than two gigs. So host A, use space, the last value is greater than two gigabytes. So insert that, and that's all good. And it's very likely to trigger straight away because last time I actually checked this host, it was using more than two gigabytes, but this is just an example. So add, okay, let's find that down here. There it is, disaster, okay, disk space used above two gigs, current value, macro item value. So this should trigger straight away. So let's go to monitoring problems. Okay, and straight away it's showing up in monitoring problems down here. Host A, disk space used above two gigs, the current value 2.34 gigabytes. So the macro was replaced with the real item value there. So let's look at that in more detail. So history, used space, that's a graph. We can see that this red and black dotted line there, that's the trigger that I have being shown on the graph there. So two gigs. Trigger, disk space used above two gigs, current value, which is not really a problem, but it's just demonstrating and practicing creating triggers and using a macro in the name this time. We'll also find this value being shown in maps here. Okay, so host A, disk space used above two gigs, current value 2.34 gigs. So the macro is used in several places. Back to problems. And if I look at the actions, we can see that I've been sent several alerts for the media types that we set up in the last videos. Okay, so if I look at these in Slack, for example, and the most recent one is right down the bottom there disk space use above two gigs current value 2.34 gigs so i even get it in the title of the alert okay so if you remember if i was to look at the configuration of slack there and look at the message templates problem there you go there's a macro event dot name there and they're the other built-in macros let me cancel that Okay, so anyway, that's really just some exposure to macros and a bit of practice on how you might use a macro. Excellent.